Hello everybody and um, today is Rare Disease Day and I've asked our CEO Cathy if she wouldn't mind just taking a couple of minutes to uh, talk to us about neuroendocrine cancer and whether or not it is rare or not. Hi Cathy. Hi Leanne. <laughs> So um, we've had quite a lot of questions and there seems to be some confusion over whether the fact neuroendocrine cancer is rare. And I believe this is because um, last year we published some data and it did state that there was an increase in neuroendocrine cancer of 371%. Would that not take us out of the rare category? I think they're two different data sets. Um, so we showed that that we have seen an increase um, in the cases of diagnoses, and yes, by 371%. But this was over a long period of time from 1995 to 2018. And when you compare that to all cancers, um, it is actually far higher. Um, and I think all cancer incidence increase was around 121% over the same time frame from 1995 to 2018. However, there are really important factors to consider and looking at the reasons behind this. We did a large project a few years ago, um, recoding neuroendocrine cancers in our cancer registry. So the data that we're pulling out now is far more accurate, although likely still to be an underestimate, to be honest. We've developed better diagnostic tools. There is greater awareness and expertise and a recent global reclassification of this cancer type, which would all have contributed to that large increase. Um, and we are yet to look at and discover any definitive reasons for this increase, but they are um, being researched. But that doesn't actually cover the topic or whether we're, if we're rare or common. There are only four common cancers. So everything else is either rare or uncommon. Um, and as a, a group of cancers, we are uncommon because um, we are over six per 100,000 individuals that are diagnosed with this cancer each year. Um, but we're certainly not common. So we sit ourselves in the uncommon cancer space with some subtypes of neuroendocrine cancer being themselves rare. So why do we support Rare Disease Day? Well, um, it's, you know, it's a really important global initiative and campaigns like this can only help us in raising awareness of issues that are faced by the rare disease community. And this can only aid in our mission um, really for the development of a rare and uncommon cancer uh, pathway or rare and uncommon cancer initiatives here in the UK. And also, I think really importantly, we don't have a rare or uncommon cancer day here in the UK. Um, but I think that would be a great thing to work towards. Yes, definitely. Um, well, OK, thank you for speaking with me about that. Um, if anybody has any questions, please do get in touch and we'll put the link to the publication in our bio or in the comments. But thank you, Cathy. OK, thanks. Bye. Bye.